Wolverine Quad Copter 101 here, and before we get started, let's get today's shout out out of the way. Today's shout out goes to Jack Ambrose. Jack was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins this shout out. So, congratulations. Good morning, Quad Copter 101 here with another review uh, for beginner pilots today. Uh, this is the e Ishin E61HW. What is this E61HW? Well, with the HW, you know it's altitude hold, so, and you could also tell that it's altitude hold as its controller throttle is uh, at the mid midpoint, so that uh, is a good indicator this is going to be an altitude hold drone. But with the W there, we know it's also a Wi-Fi flyer, folks, and it has a little 0.3 megapixel camera on the front here so that you can actually get uh, Wi-Fi video for those beginner pilots who want to see FPV while they're flying so that's the idea of it so this is supposed to be an inexpensive uh, learn to fly drone for beginners and I think it it probably is a good choice for beginner pilots but we'll find out today when we fly it uh, it is powered by a little 3.7 volt uh, I believe it's 350 milliamp or 250 to 350 milliamp hour battery. It's proprietary, folks. That's the problem with it. Uh, however, it's inexpensive. And again, this comes, I didn't mention that yet, but this comes in two, one, two, and three version, battery versions. And I think it's only a few dollars each if you, as you step up. So if that's the case, I do recommend you get three ba the three battery version uh, because uh, I don't think it's that much more expensive than the single battery. So... If you want to keep flying, I recommend you get spare batteries for this thing. Um, the battery, is, again, is proprietary. It just snaps in to the, the belly of the drone like so. Uh, the way it is charged, though, it is charged with a micro USB cable, which you get in the package. And that micro USB cable plugs right into this micro USB port on the front of the battery. And, again, that slides right into the uh, drone to power it. Um, you also get a spare set of propellers. Uh, one full set, set of spares. And let's go over the controller. Uh, the controller is made to handle a phone. <laughs> it's got a phone holder. Um, the left button here is for adjusting the rates for a beginner, intermediate, expert to increase the speed of the drone. If you want to do flips, you press this right button and then use the pitch roll stick to tell it which direction to flip. Uh, these buttons here is for automatic takeoff and automatic landing. This button here is for... Oh no, this is takeoff, this is landing, okay. Uh, this is for headless mode, one key return. You press quick press for headless mode and a long press for one key return. And this one here is for photo and videos. Quick press for photo, long press for video. Although I think this, since this is a Wi-Fi flyer with no micro SD card slot, I think you're probably going to need to use the app instead of that button to start and stop the video. And the name of the app is the Isheen FPV app available on Google Play and iTunes. So that's the drone in effect. Now let's take it out into the field and fly it and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here and we're ready to fly the E61HW. Now to turn this on, you plug in the battery of course, but then hold down this button on the, the top of the drone like so for about three seconds or so to make sure it fires up. And we got lights in the front telling us that we have power and point it in the direction that you want the headless mode to be which would be probably north and we turn on the transmitter and up and down in the transmitter binds it and uh let's see it actually will start the motors by down and out down and out starts them takes to the air and we're gonna land it okay so you can start it by down and out and down and out also shuts off the motors. Okay, let's connect it to the Wi-Fi and see how the camera looks. Okay, this is the Ishin FPV app. And if we go into the settings by hitting that uh, gear icon, we can set this to 720p preview, and that's what I wanted it set to. And then coming back out of that, let's hit play to enter into the app. And we should have FPV, and we do. And to start the video recording, um, I tried pressing this photo and video button, and it does not seem to activate it. So again, you know, since this is a Wi-Fi flyer, you nearly almost always need to use the app to start the video recording. And I'm going to start the video recording using the app. And we have video recording. Okay, to take off, um, let's try the takeoff button, see if that does it. Automatic takeoff. Automatic takeoff works. Let's get up a little higher. And get in the picture. And say, how do you like my sweatshirt today, folks? <laughs> Okay, notice right away that the camera is pointed slightly to the ground with this drone. And the reason they do that, I think, is to... Let's go to higher rate. 
highest rate. Because I got a little bit of a breeze here and it's having a little bit of a problem fighting this breeze. So we're going to go upwind here. And let's watch, let's let it come by. This is the wind blowing it by me, folks. Hi again, up there. I'm going to walk with it, heading this way, <laughs> as it flies over my head. And coming upwind, going up again the other direction. Now let's try the flip button, going upwind to begin. Hitting flip, flip, backward flip. So that's its flipping. It's our regular flipper. Let's go back upwind again. It, can't, it really can't fight a wind, folks. So this is meant as an indoor flyer, I can tell you right now. So turning the drone around, pointing it toward me as it goes by in the wind. It was only a little three-knot wind, <laughs> but it's enough to stop it. Okay, looking at my screen, I seem to have lost FPV. I'm going to stop the video recording. We're going to land. Uh, right, let's try the land button. Land, coming down, coming down. We're going to land right here. Okay, and I'm going to let it sit for a second. Notice we got all these geese over there. Lots and lots of geese. And notice over here all this geese poop. <laughs> so, okay, we got Wi-Fi back again, starting the camera and hitting the takeoff button. Well, actually, this time I want to go in headless mode. So hitting the takeoff button and headless mode. So that's, that's the direction it was pointed. And notice I can spin it now. Doesn't matter what direction the drone is pointed. That is going to be forward. Behind me is back. To the right is right. And to the left is left. Now let's go down that headless mode direction. And we're going to hit that one key return button. And hold it down. And here it comes flying backwards. Now one key return is not return to home, folks. Um, if I hit one key return right here, watch what happens. It flies away from me. It, it is, does not bring it back to you. All it does is point the exact op opposite direction the drone was pointed when it took off. So that's what headless mode does, folks. It makes it easier for some beginner pilots to fly this. Um, me personally, I don't recommend headless mode because it becomes a crutch for a lot of pilots. They need it to fly. But okay, now using headless mode, I can fly backwards <laughs> so you can see the sky. <laughs> Because of that downward pointing camera on this drone. I don't know why they do that, folks. They, they, a lot of people, or a lot of drones, put downward facing cameras. And here, let me let me land that, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's bring it up closer here. Or let me come out of headless mode first. So I can bring it back to me. <laughs> headless mode confuses me sometimes, too. <laughs> Having a hard time fighting the breeze. So we need to land it and reset its accelerometers. When that happens, you want to reset the accelerometers, and the way to do that is just land it and let it sit for a few seconds on the ground, undisturbed. Let it sit for a few seconds, and it should be good to go. Okay, so its accelerometer should be reset. But uh, notice the camera. It looks like it might be able to be pointed downward, but it's not. You know, it's set at a downward angle of about 10 degrees, so that's why we're seeing uh, quite a bit of ground from the camera. Okay, placing that there, restarting that camera to get another video and hitting the takeoff button again. And going upwind one more time. So that what I want to do is go upwind, turn the drone toward me and get a picture of me as it's going by me. That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> there I, maybe you saw me for a second there. But I'm looking at the Wi-Fi screen, and the Wi-Fi is rather choppy. So again, this is an indoor FPV flyer, mainly meant for indoor folks or indoor flying in the, these cold winter months that we got right now, since we are in winter. Outdoors, not so much. Here, let me get this thumbnail while I can <laughs> with the geese in the background. <laughs> Let's go say hi to the geese. Let's go say hi to them while we're flying here. I don't think they, they'll be uh, afraid of this little drone. But they might be afraid of me. <laughs> ah, they're walking away. Never mind. I don't want to disturb them. <laughs> I'll make some of my 
viewer is angry if I do that. <laughs> Let's go. Highest rate. With the three knot wind behind me. Seeing my shoes coming up to the camera and saying, Hi, Mom. <laughs> Sync it up the camera, too. This syncs up my lips when I'm talking. Uh, when I, you know, when I sync up the uh, cameras, what I'm trying to do, folks, is sync it up so that when I'm talking, I'm talking in time with the uh, video. Okay, well, not much else I can do with this little drone. Uh, we did the headless mode, one key return, uh, takeoff and landings, we've done that. We did flips, tried different rates. Again, beginners, learn to fly drone. Uh, available with one, two, or three batteries if you want to keep on flying. So can we still do flips? Yeah, we still got power to flip. So it still has some flipping power. Bring it up here and do that again. Two flips. Those flips reasonably well if you're into that. <laughs> Drones with flip buttons have been around for a long time. <laughs> Since I started flying these <laughs> about six years ago. <laughs> People were into flip buttons. They still are, I guess. You gotta make that drone flip. Okay. No more flips. So when you s no more flips, that means the battery's getting low. Do we have any visual indication? Let's see here. Yep. Front lights are blinking. Let's bring it in closer so you can see that. When the front front lights are blinking, that tells you you are low battery status. And it's going to be landing shortly. And there's its landing. <laughs> so that's its flight time, folks, from this little drone. So that's the Ishin E61HW. There is an H version of this out there. I might review that also. I got a feeling the H version would probably fly a little bit better without the camera. You know, uh, the cameraless version here. Let's sync this up again, like I said. <laughs> so this is Quadcopter 101. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101. Signing out. Hi, Quadcopter101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.